look fine. <laughs> mm. I did this. Yes, grapefruit juice, some tequila, blood orange. Mm, yummy. Oh, so good. Hi, my name is Zoe. And I am the Tipsy Psychic. Today we're gonna talk about the compatibility between a Capricorn, Aquarius cusp, and a Taurus. A Taurus would be pragmatic. You aren't like your Taurus in most ways. You might kind of feel delusional in the beginning. You can't really tell if there's a spark there or not. You're both vibrant, bold, authentic people. And together, those parts of your personality would really shine. Remember to stay really balanced. Don't let your emotional ups and downs get in the way. Stay alert and focused on the present. Mm. Not everyone has the same priorities, so you have to be careful not to seem like you don't understand that. You both like really nice things, maybe not as much as a Taurus, it's kind of like you have a wish list and they have a buy list. Your problems aren't your spats themselves, it's not knowing how to make up after your spats. How do you clear the air and make up after a fight? And yes, I am wearing shoulder pads, thanks for asking. Whoop, whoop. You see, if feelings are left unresolved, then the issues can come back and they can come back even worse. You both are dreamers. Mm. Your love is a fantasy. Sorry to burst your bubble. And it's really difficult to manifest it in realistic ways. It always seems better than it really is. You'll know what I mean if you're dating. You'll see. You bring out the passion in each other. Mm. Yummy. What was that? Taurus can be very hard-headed and too stubborn to listen to your advice. I mean, they're the bull. So don't waste your energy like that. Don't you have better things to do? If they don't act on your wisdom and you feel like you know what's best and you know how to do it, just do it. Just do it your way. Baby steps are better when it comes to growing together. You find pleasure in visually stimulating things. Your admiration can turn into an obsession or greed. You'll really appreciate how hardworking your Taurus is. They definitely won't be a distraction to your career. You have like an idea for how you want your relationship to be and how you want things to look and go, but it's really hard to shape. It can seem too good to be true. You both believe in each other and you live off of each other's hopes dreams, but actually taking action and making things happen can be a challenge. The finer things in life can become a focus. You strive for excellence, whether that's in the bedroom, decorating your space, pampering each other, cooking together, appreciating art. Don't let your anxiety and negative feelings get in the way. Don't set yourself up for heartbreak. My advice is to expect the worst and to be pleasantly surprised. Get philosophical. Try to add meaning behind every experience. Exercise is gonna be a really good coping mechanism when you have fights because you gotta make sure you're not dealing with things in a way that is detrimental to your well-being. Don't get caught up in future ambitions. Celebrate your small wins. Find realistic things that you can look forward to in the near future. Taurus is not a party animal. They don't work hard to play hard. That's not tomorrow. What are we? Before you take any more steps, make sure you take the time to define what you are to each other. What is this? When the Taurus feels like it's not being very productive and not facing reality, then they're gonna start to feel weak. And they're gonna start to feel like they're in a rut. And oh boy, that's bad. Because they're so good at following through with things usually and staying focused. When you are cheating with each other or having a fling, something quick, you know? It's usually very energetic. It's like you feel peaceful but you also feel exhilarated with each other. You don't usually feel bad about it. No regrets. 
Your relationship can feel abstract. Your ambition is often what brings you together and what keeps things going. It's like you have similar dreams and soon you realize you both can't really rely on each other and you lack confidence in one another when it comes down to getting shit done. And this can be a big issue in the long run. The exciting love you feel for one another during your flings is very pleasurable. You use each other to fill a void. Opposites attract is very common here in a way. It's like you complete each other in many ways. Taurus could see you as a novelty. You intrigue and amuse them because you know how to keep things interesting. Your Taurus cares about look. It may seem kind of shallow to you and style and good looks somehow seem more important to you as time goes on. Your love for each other is like a sanctuary. They protect you from the crazy world around you. You love how respondent and sensitive your Taurus is to your needs. You like your Taurus better without makeup and all these nice things. You see their raw beauty in ways that they can't. They may make a fuss. You may feel like your nerves will surface. You will feel more free to panic and concern yourself with a Taurus. Marriages are often successful and very peaceful. A Taurus will like how mysterious you are and they're gonna enjoy trying to figure you out. Taurus will feel less and less like themselves. You inspire them to fantasize and dream and they may stop thinking realistically and end up being very distracted. You care way too much about how good things look to the outside world and how other people see your relationship. Mmm, yeah. yummy. You must be very physically attracted to them. You learn a lot about yourselves while dating because your relationship can be very profound. It can be very therapeutic. If you don't start trying to lower your expectations a little and face reality, then you both will resent each other and you'll feel like you disappointed them. There is a facade that you both keep up. Taurus knows how much of a positive influence they have on you. Their earthiness and focus rubs off on you and they are proud of it. Your fantasies will destroy the relationship. After a while, you would make okay friends. Taurus loves how lively you are. When you meet, you get very carried away. And when you first date, it's all about your dreams and excitement for the future. You both enjoy outdoorsy activities like hiking or skiing. You feel more at ease with your Taurus and more secure. You can live a very simple life together. As a couple, you'll deal with many haters. Turns out people, other people, haters will be your biggest obstacle. And you might feel like you constantly have to stand up for your relationship. The more you fight off all these haters, the more you will face the truth and the stronger your relationship can be. You often meet through your work or your career, especially when it's following your dream. You make a great team. They can be great companions. When reality hits and the truth sets in, you realize it's never going to be the way you dream it to be. And so you'll have to decide whether you can work with it or part ways. It may make you kind of depressed. You both like similar music and appreciate the same styles when it comes to art or fashion. You have an eye for beauty. You'll feel more grown up dating a Taurus. You both have a sincere respect for each other and you both stay by each other's side. You would be a hit at a family reunion. Parents usually love you as a couple. You both can be very bossy and take turns being the dictators of this relationship. So when you have kids, it can be rough, but you easily take responsibility for each other. You commit over time. The relationship can last, especially like if it's a marriage, because of how pragmatic and logical it is. Even after the romance flickers out, 
You both know how to entertain and joke around. You may feel like the relationship's a little bit more chaotic when you're with your family. Be wary of other family members. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Comment below, let me know if you agree with this. I'm always open to suggestions and I wanna hear what you have to say. So yes, comment below. Thanks so much for watching, bye.